Parker. Here's a look at what's ahead next for the Phillies playing the Diamondbacks in Arizona tomorrow. First pitch 507. That's Eastern time. The Phillies will be paying the Diamondbacks for game four on Friday. That's at 807 and game five if necessary. Also in Arizona on Saturday. First pitch also at 807. Well, there's no rest for our fightings or the fans. The Phillies will fly out to Phoenix sometime today and then work in a practice at Chase Field. All right, so some of those fans, the diehards, they are making their way out west. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey inside of Philadelphia International Airport where Wakisha, I know we had a chance to catch up with a super fan from Jersey making their way to Phoenix this morning. Good morning to you. Well, good morning, Janelle, Jim. You know, as you all have been mentioning all morning, last night was a big night for Phillies, but even a bigger night for the fans. And as you mentioned, I did speak with the super fan who says that he can't wait for this long weekend of baseball. But before we get to that, we are inside the Philadelphia International Airport, where it was beaming this morning with a lot of Philly pride. And the first flight is scheduled to take off at 7.20 this morning. That's just over an hour. So let's meet the Ernst family who say they've been packed since last week Thursday when the Phillies played the Miami Marlins. But we met the father Gordon and his family last year when they attended two World Series games in Houston. There they also ran into several players including Bryce Harper during breakfast. Now the family has traveled since then to two games this postseason in Atlanta and the family says that they are looking forward to cheering on the Phils in Phoenix. We only might need two in Arizona because I think we're going to get the brooms out. It's so much more fun because you're getting to see the other fans and you're getting to see our, you know, a bunch of Philadelphia fans in that area taking over a stadium, taking over a ballpark and coming back with wins. It's just a lot of fun. And you get to travel with your family. I mean, to me, there's, there's nothing more fun than that right now. So every game, Gordon travels with his wife, his daughter, and his son, who is in eighth grade. And he's pulling his son out of school for the next couple of days. And who knows if he's going to pull him out next week as well. Jim and Janelle. You know the teachers probably aren't going to mind. They're probably going to say, hey, can we go along with you to homeschool <laughs> on, on the trip? Hey, it's worth asking. Thank you, Wakish. Appreciate it. Well, for Phillies fans in town, the rally for Red October bus tour is making a comeback. The double decker bus will make various stops today, including Rodney Square in Wilmington, downtown Westchester, and Chickies and Pete's in South Philly. Philly fanatic and special guests, including former players Mickey Morandini and Milt Thompson, will be on the bus to pump up the fans for game three. And of course, stay with CBS News Philadelphia for the latest on the Phillies Red October run. We're not on television. You can get the latest on our website, CBS Philadelphia. Philadelphia.com.